Changing the empty syringe. The alarm is beeping and the symbol of the empty syringe is flashing on the display. This shows that the syringe is empty now and needs to be replaced by a full one. Before we change over to the new syringe, we have to stop the three-way valve. To stop the valve, we have to turn its key to the patient side, which will result in the interruption of the flow. Now close the pipe to get the flat side on the side where the infusion tube is connected so that the fluid is blocked. Remove the syringe by unlocking the two locks and gently pushing the syringe out of the pump. Remove the connector by bending the tube between your fingers to prevent leakage and then pull it off. Keeping the tube bent, insert the connector into the new full syringe like this. Then place the new syringe into the pump and secure it using both the locks. After that, press the start button and turn off the alarm. The rotating wheel shows the flow has started. How to administer bolus. Bolus is the operation using the syringe pump when the given rate is overridden and all the fluid is ejected quickly. This is usually given when the patient is critical and needs extra stimulation or dosage. To start bolus, we have to press the function and the number one key on the keypad simultaneously. Bolus is given when you need to increase the speed of the dose suddenly without disconnecting the setup. Changing the flow rate. To change the flow rate while the infusion is on is simple. First press the cancel button. The F display will come on. Then enter the new rate using the keypad. Here we enter 8.0. Then press the F button to accept this new rate. Finally, press the Start button to start the infusion with the new rate. The correct way for using the three-way stopcock. As you can see, the three-way stopcock is closed with the flat side towards the infusion tube connector which results in the blocking of the flow of solution to the patient. Thus, the alarm goes off. To open up the three-way stopcock, you have to rotate the valve so that one of the tips is pointing towards the infusion pipe connection. The alarm remains on and the flow is still stopped as it needs to be manually addressed and then turned on again. As this problem is now solved, Turn off the alarm by pressing the alarm key and press the start button to start the flow as shown by the rotating wheel as usual.